Okay, question eight next. So, question eight is quite nice in terms of its uh, thinking through. Y equals 2x minus 8, 2x minus 8 goes through the coordinates. Let's have a quick look at what this is. 2x minus 8, so somewhere down here, minus 8. And because it's doing 2x, okay. So for every 2 across, so that makes this one 4, okay. And this makes points A and B. And they make the points of a circle, which presumably has something like that. Okay, so uh, they make the diameter of a circle, AB, uh, find the equation of the circle. So, since we know A is 0 minus 8, read from the equation, the fact it cuts through minus 8, we know that B is 4 0 by the fact you could put in y equals 0 and then just solve it. Okay, we can then do a midpoint. Midpoint of 2 minus 4, okay, which is the center of our circle. And now what we need is we need the radius of this circle, so we need to know the length of that line or from the midpoint to one of the things. So we'll just use uh, from A to the midpoint, okay? So length, or radius, I'll call it, radius is equal to the square root of, the difference of the x's is 2 squared minus, uh, sorry, plus 4 squared, okay? 4 and 16, square root of 20. So that means we can start with the equation of x, minus, now for the x's it's 2, okay, squared plus y minus, now if it's not, it's minus minus 4, so that makes it a plus 4, okay, for the midpoint there, squared equals 20, or the square root of 20 squared, which is 20. Okay, so that gives us a question 8. So question nine is saying that the center of a circle is at point O and it is at 8, 10 and it meets the axis at axis, x axis is it? x axis at 4, 0. Okay. And a zero. Find the radius of the circle. Well, if we know the center, we know a point on the circle. Then we can just do the radius, which is the length of between these two lines, which is going to be the square root of from eight to four is four squared, and from ten to zero is ten squared. So that's 116 squared. Two root 29. Okay, for question nine. Um, now find the value of A. So if we meet the axis at this point, we've got the center of the circle, we've got the radius of the circle, we've got the equation of the circle. So we can start with x minus 8 squared plus y minus 10 squared equals 116. And at this point we can start substituting in a and 0 for the x and y coordinates. So we're going to end up with a minus 8 squared plus 0 minus 10 squared equals 116. Okay, solve this for a. So we end up with a squared minus 16a k 
plus 64 minus, no, plus 100 equals 116. So a squared minus 16 a, and then we get what's that 164 take away 116, which is 48. Equals zero. And so when we solve this as a quadratic, again, just using the calculator for it, have an eye. Um, and we have one minus 16 and 48. We have a is equal to 12 and a is equal to 4. So the question now is which one can we use? Okay. have a quick look um, so with a quick sketch of it we have a 8 10 so there's 8 there's 10 that's the center of the circle and we know 4 0 is on this circle okay There you go, it's 12, isn't it? Um, four zeros on the circle. And so as the circle comes around here like that, this is a terrible circle, but anyway, it cuts here at 12. The four solution is already given to us. So A is equal to 12. Okay. Um, question nine, we don't have to do question 10 or 11 by my own rules of not doing anything that isn't exam or practice. So question 12. Of course, if you do need those ones to do in, drop me a comment, see what we can do. Okay, the circle C with the equation x squared, not x squared, x plus five squared, plus y plus two squared, equals 125 okay um, meets the positive coordinate on the x-axis at a and b okay so we have a of a0 and we have b of 0b find the values of a and b So when we're finding a, x is a, y is zero. So we can change this into a plus five squared plus zero plus two squared equals 125. So we can start multiplying that out. a squared plus 10a plus 25 plus four equals 125 a squared plus 10 a 25 um, <coughs> 25 plus 4 take away 125 is minus 96 which equals 0 putting it into the quadratic solver and we've got 1 10 96 as our coefficients and so we get a is equal to 6 and a is equal to minus 16 disregard this one because they told us it is positive now we find b so in exactly the same way we can say 0 plus 5 squared plus b plus 2 squared equals 125. Do all of that again, so we get 25 plus b squared plus 4b 
plus 4 equals 125. B squared plus 4B. Um, 25 plus 4, take away 125. Minus 96 again. Equals 0. Putting it back into the solver. 1, 4, and minus 96, and we get a B value of 8, and we also get a B value of minus 12. Disregard, because we said it's positive, so B equals 8. 6 and 8 for question 12. Part B, then. Find the equation of line AB. Okay, so line AB has uh, not AB, lowercase, but AB uppercase. Uh, has a slope. And if we quickly take this, we have A is 6, 0. B is 0, 8. Okay, difference of the y's is 8. Difference of the x's is 6. And we start at the 0, 8, and we go to, and we're going down, aren't we? Because we are looking at 6, 0, and 0, Eight. So that's B. It's a negative number. Four three minus four over three. Uh, using that, we can then put it into Y equals M X plus C. So Y equals minus four over three X plus C. Use one of the coordinates of A or B, points of A or B, to put it in. So uh, Y equals 0, equals minus 4 over 3 times 6, plus C. 4, 6 is 24, minus 8, 8, 8 equals C, giving you an equation of Y equals minus 4 over 3 plus uh, X plus 8. Okay. Um, yes, and then uh, part C, that can't be, part C of this then. Find the area of the triangle OAB. Oh, well, we've got a picture of it up here, where O is the origin. So we know where AB is. So we know it's eight high and six wide. Okay. So we just want to draw that again. We know we're eight, we know we're six. We want to know the area of this. Okay, a half the base times the height. Four six is twenty-four. Unit square. 